So my plan was to video today because um, it's our final kind of cultural tour for on our Fridays. It's our actual final Friday, which is kind of crazy. It's been four weeks now. Whoa. But um, it's raining quite badly today, so we'll see what I can video because I really don't want to get my phone wet. Um, but we're meant to be going to the historic center, so let's see what we get up to. and the rain has stopped. We're waiting for the others to come and then we'll start our tour. Oh my god, this is Bang. so uh, The purpose of this is to uh, reduce the environmental noise. My friends and family, yeah. uh, some of the things I've discovered because uh, very good difference. Well, uh, now uh, with the receivers, you will have the city where Chinan pass. Have you been to such a movie? No, not yet. Not yet. Well, uh, well. So the rest. Of it, uh, <laughs> Otherwise, they would be running. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And pictures of the, of the plaza. Okay, but there's a whole group of, of fire departments. We yeah. built them in uh, 50 But 100 years later, a new one was under construction, the one we mentioned before. And today, these are the floors and the back side of the cathedral and the parts of the graveyards the, of that whole building. In the other windows you will see all the Quite a contradiction. With so much water, there is not enough water. Okay. For those wishing to use, refer to something completely uh, spiritual, completely made up, and refers basically to the sub subconscious. So we talk about. was placed on the year 1700 to celebrate the renewal of this building. So the architecture we see around was done in the previous years, the five previous years of 1700. Then the mirror continues all along this wall and it finishes on the on 
the south side with the contemporary crisis and lack of unemployment and struggles that created what is called fascism. You know, the government is of the individual. Customers. That's it. Well, now let's go to the next. Next, we have this is the oldest shop in Mexico City, or one of the eighteen piece. Run by the same family. Um, after independence, there was a uh, a big change in our country. Very soon. Nobody uh, that didn't belong to the Spanish Empire could, could come down here. They came here and established some Swiss people also. But they came here to make business. They came here as sales representatives for the companies who were in Europe. Or they came with the uh, companies, especially those who were in Hamburg. <laughs> Actually, okay, yeah. now Actually, someone exactly. else who is to be taken care of. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and created by English investors uh, and Mexican investors. So, he called the sculptor to his house and said, what, what, why do you want me here? Well, it's because he wanted the sculptor to make a portrait of his own dog. So what did everyone think of the tour, guys? Yay! <laughs> 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 around the historic center and doing our last tour with the tour company which I completely recommend the tour guides were so knowledgeable knew exactly what they're doing um, knew everything that we could possibly want to know answered any questions that kind of thing but anyway that's a side note um, the problem that we had was we got on the metro to go home because we decided to go home eat some dinner and then maybe go back out to like the, a bar or something afterwards in the evening just to have a little bit of a rest and maybe um, also save a little bit of money by, by like making dinner at home rather than going out to eat every night. Um, but the metro kind of was a bit of a problem as we didn't go into the women and children's area because we didn't want the police to say no to Keith and we wanted to stay with him. But the problem was we got pushed into this metro. It was really, really crowded. And then when I turned around, the others had left. Um, they'd rushed out the metro, so I immediately followed. And it turns out that Keith's phone was stolen. Um, it was kind of a really bad mistake that it was in a really flappy pocket of his um, kind of zip-up hoodie. Um, and also we were getting into the 
entrance of the metro right next to the stairs, so it meant that the guy could literally push us, grab the phone, and then run off up the stairs. We told the police immediately, and they said they didn't see who it was, and we didn't see who it was, so there wasn't much that we could do. I actually spent the rest of the evening um, trying to sort out Keith's phone. We went on his iCloud, marked it as stolen, or whatever. And we had a few weird incidents where we thought that maybe someone had the phone and we could get it, but no, we couldn't. We walked to the police station, turned out the police station, you couldn't file a report there. So we came back, we told our course director, and she's helped us so much. So we kind of are a bit more exhausted now, and we might just end up having some more food and going to bed straight away, and hope tomorrow is a little bit better and Keith can get to the police station and file the report.